Okay. Let's take down the Swine King. The legendary bracer is pretty damn good too. I mean, he needs to get taken down. This should give us an important level up on Marden if he hits level 4. And we've got almost everybody we need to take down the Baron. Remember, it's going to be Dolmar, Mizuma, Marden, and one other person, maybe Montfiquet. Could actually send Aegis. No, actually, it was the. Yeah, what if it's Marshmane? I wanted a Plague Doctor to fight the Baron, stack that poison damage, but Moshman's gonna need a lot of leveling. Before we jump in, Stagecoach. I could just, I could fully upgrade the Stagecoach at this point. But how are we with upgrading the Guild and the Blacksmith? We can actually go all the way up. Look at that for armor smithing. Should I just get that and be done with it? Technically, we don't need to yet. We only need to get these levels done once we start going for the most difficult uh, dungeons. That 84 crests for instruction mastery. Shall we just complete the training regimen? Some may fall, mm. but their knowledge lives on. The training everybody is going to be cheaper. That's going to have the knock-on effect of saving money. We're not going to upgrade the tavern because I don't want I want portraits for uh, the guild. It's the abbey that needs to be fully upgraded. I mean, the cloister is done all the way. I wonder if I shouldn't do transept of the penance hall as well. Come on, Stubby. Enough talk. Take down Swine King. I kind of want to go very heavy on torches considering the fact that we are doing a light run. Keep that light level. That should do. Six blood is probably plenty. 24 food is more than enough. 20 food normally does. It's only a medium, and besides, we're going to make a beeline uh, straight for where we hope the boss will be. Take that boss down quick as possible. Okay. Food, we got shovels, we got... Antivenom, check. Bandages, check. Med, got some key. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. Meat. The Ugh. best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Sorry, that's just sending a message. A final. A nameless abomination. A testament to mm, Could be either way. Let's head straight door. down here and hope for a scouting. Quick skill and positions check. Crush, rampart, defender, retribution. What I need more than anything out of JC Rawford is reclaim. And redeem and he can use those from any position punish and exsanguinate is less important position three excellent good i think we have and then obviously chobo needs to be at the back such blockages are unsurprising these tunnels predate even the earliest settlers it's unfortunate that we hit a blockage Square number two. Don't think that was worth uh, digging that out at all. Okay, so these little feckers are stealthed. That means I have to then equip Rallying Flare. These stealth. Okay, so what am I have to give up here? Blind fire is super important because you can hit position one with it. Sniper shot you can't. I think we'll take away blind fire and take rallying flare instead. How annoying is this? We can do nothing until these things de stealth.
I hope it's only one turn, there's oh, two rounds. And the first hits a crit. Damn it. So it looks like that healing collar hasn't actually mm, given increased heal. Also, these things keep hitting us. There we go, that's what I'm saying. 40 odd dodge and keeps missing. That doesn't de stealth. Okay, so 40% protection. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's three, it is three hit points. Attribution, let's knock back and stun. Oh, yes, and Shabo. That's, that's, that's the Arbalester's job, just one-shot fools. And also, 49 dodge, I've never seen a man-at-arms with that high amount of dodge. How did he get buffed? A oh, stun resist. Destroyed. Hell of a combo, huh? Mark target. Hit them with crossbow. Sniper's ring plus bullseye. Eradicated. And right here, this is the beauty of this skill. It even persists outside of combat. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy. Uh, I've only ever gotten negative stuff from this. Um, I was going to leave those occult scrollings. I threw holy water on there once, and it gave a hundred stress. As you can imagine, it's no boy, no. Aegis. What's up, Aegis? Dude, Happy I'm so determined. I see your tempting DD. Darkest dungeon. You again, we are going to see it through to the end. I'm not just gonna throw a temper tantrum and give up <laughs> like I did the last darkest dungeon run through. That's annoying with 14% bleed resist and then he resisted the bleed. Damn, 24 dodge, pretty good. Back to the pit. Distribution or crush? I can do 10 points of damage. Oh. Mm. I like this party setup. And actually, I should burn a torch to get the torch level above 75 for those bonuses. I, I, I still, I, I still, I, 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 thinking about it, it's insane. We hit the Baron with five attack. We, we attacked him five times, and four out of five were dodges. It was, fuck, it was crazy. One hit point. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Dazed. Owie. Reeling. About to break. Well, if any of these lads are going to be stressed, it might as well be him. Here's something that's interesting. So, plus 33% healing received. That's three hit points per turn. If I hit him with the battlefield medicine, they're going to increase it. We'll just pay attention to see how much he heals. Um, I'm not sure how many weeks we're in. I think we're 30 or 40 weeks in, so quite far in. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? I need to open up some inventory space. So, oh, nice a secret door. Yeah, we gotta start dropping some stuff. The thing is, I don't want to camp just yet. I want to know where the boss is first before I do that. We're gonna, gonna come back here. We can come back here. Let's go past the secret door. Hopefully, get a scout, and then 
Okay, cool. So you see, we healed for four there. Even there, reclaim says three over two. Hit someone with battlefield bandage. That then turns that heal into four for two. Which stacks. In terms of the run, I think I've beaten all of the level one bosses. This is now we're doing the level two pig boss. And I'm just trying to level up guys to level four so we can fight the Baron. The Baron remains the bane of my existence. There he is. Okay, good. So that means we can camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horror. First things first, prevent nighttime ambush. And the training skills that give us plus dodge. When we fight this boss with the light level above 75, we're gonna have plus 10 dodge, plus another that's 20, plus 35 dodge on top of his base dodge. And then and then if you look at look at Chando, 61 dodge, plus light level dodge, giving him another 10, so 71. Then he'll use guard dog, taking it up to 80 something. So when the Swine King uses his cleaver thing, we should have close to 80 dodge on Chandos. Uh, damage and crit could be nice. Let's see, I want to increase accuracy, damage and crit for ranged skills. Cost of 3 though. Minus 10. Again, stress is pretty much a non-factor here. Gutting chance we don't need. We already found the secret room. Just go for the plus 10 damage weapons practice. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Let's fucking get him. And max light. In radiance, may we 61 dodge, victory. 59 dodge. So Chandos just uses God Dog and he gets 61 plus 17 for 78 dodge. Not bad. I didn't use Restring Crossbow. Disease. Ah, Crimson Curse. Right, any other buffs before we go in? No. Let's take down the boss, boys! Here we go! It is Twine King! Thursday. Okay, only nine dodge, not too bad. Of hatred and rage. Stunned, fair enough. First things first, lower protection. I feel like I need to mark him for the next turn. Actually, no. Right, let's get the mark applied so that the obelisk can hit him on the next turn. And then on turn two, Chandos will eat his dog treat. So these two are marked in that case then. Does this thing bleed? It does bleed. So I want to guard this lad. And Chandos guards this lad. Oof, okay, good dodge. Nice dodge! Okay, now we can dog treat. So let's see. So this he counts as a beast. Hounds Rush is damage versus beast. Damage so this should be plus 120% damage. 25 damage. Amazing. The big question is how much damage can my arbalest do? That marked target is so important. Can you heal yourself? You can't. Okay. That's fine, I want his hit points to drop anyway. So you can use Exsanguinate. Remember, don't use repost attacks in this fight, because if the little pig hits you and you hit the pig, it pisses off the big pig. Okay, not too bad damage, but he's got 31% protection. Done resist. 
That's actually totally fine. I would have used mark target in any case. Seventeen over three. Excellent. Excellent. Well Ooh. Nice dodge. 25 dodge in the Arbalester. Like, the Arbalester is not one of the classes that gets a lot of dodge. I really like this team comp we got going. Got him. 78 dodge. Oh, yeah. Don't touch me. The thing is even more horrible in death. That was a 37 damage crit. Not bad. I really want my Fagilent to use his healing skill. Just set him up to run through the rest of this dungeon. <clears throat> in fact, let's heal someone else here. Oh, those are good numbers. That's the Resurrection's Collar doing its job there. That was almost 40 points of healing altogether. I'm actually going to heal myself. Just let him bleed to death. Three hit points, two damage. Mass stun, wow. I don't think this debuff can actually be removed by herbs. But that's fine. You should really only be using it kind of like the Jester's uh, finale. End of the fight. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, boys! Antiquarian only. Mm. Do we chuck away here? That carapace idol is worth, I think, 1750. Nike, thanks for follow my man. Should we just chuck the holy water? I mean, how much? We don't have that much dungeon to, left to go through. Continue adventuring. I want to put money and gems all the way here, and then heirlooms over there. Let's loop up here all the way around, hit that secret door, hit that battle, hit that one, and we'll finish there. Mind that such oh, yeah. missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Cash money! A radiant light. The light. The Torch. promise of safety. What if that carapace idol is even worth using on the antiquarian? Twenty-five dodge is fine and all, but I mean, with the antiquarian, I feel like I, I use protect me most of the time anyway. I need two more hit points there. Continually What's up, Mr. Nemore? Morning. Are you, are you an Australian by any chance? You must be about 12 hours ahead or behind. Or an Aussie. I uh, hope you're safe from the fires. I've got a friend living in uh, in Perth. He reckons it's country's struggling. Ah, uh, US. Fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. I love this restoration ability. I love how it stacks. No, oh, you can't hit me, nerd. Oh, 
That was the wrong mark. This is the one that lowers dodge. His is the one that lowers protection. A singular strike. Yes. We got him. We got him. I'm quite liking the synergy between these three. Not so much the man at arms, but oh, look at that. But that heaven's happen is excellent. I'm liking how the Arbalest and the Hound's Master between them both have mark target, but this one lowers protection. This one lowers dodge. And the healing ability synergize with the plus healing received. That's pretty cool. What do we drop here? Let's keep the gems. What's up, Fulgrim? I just started, pretty much just started. And don't forget, we need to hit that secret room. I think let's go through where we know these blockages are. I can probably even drop the shovels. I mean, we have a 50% scroll. Okay, good. Remove a negative quirk. That's not a problem. That's kind of sucks. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. Modern. Lutomania. Okay, that's good. I've actually had a similar experience with Darkest Dungeon and Blood Bowl where I allowed the game to get the better of me. I allowed the RNG to piss me off. I was like, fuck this game is bullshit. Coming back with the right attitude and I'm actually really enjoying it. Really enjoying Blood Bowl as well. I started playing Escape from Tarkov today and holy hell, it is hard. It is so fucking hard. Just starting to figure out that it's 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 the kind of game where if you don't know the map you can kind of forget about it. So I think in my first eight I'm runs, annihilated. it was six scav runs and two uh, PMC runs. I got one kill, <laughs> got killed a lot of times because you're just trying to figure out how to how do you do things like like you find a corpse. Okay, cool. How do I loot this? And then you finally press a button and you look like how does this work? Bam! You get killed while you're looting. And then, so I looked at a few guides this evening. And it seems like if you don't know the spawn points and the EVAC points and all that type of shit perfectly, you just get wrecked. But it's a lot of fun. So I'll certainly be playing that in the future. But for now, Darkest Dungeon and Blood Bowl. We'll be playing a lot of that. See 13 damage plus 5 bleed. Okay, so that's him done for. A powerful blow. That is JDC Rawford low enough to use his big heal. I love these repost skills, they're so good. Almost every enemy you fight has higher speed than your people. This thing has 8 speed. Remind yourself okay, we gotta start dropping shit. Let's drop the shovel. Killer. This is plus damage, I believe. Oh yeah. Damage, accuracy, crit. I think we can ignore that. We can hit the curio and then walk backwards. Ooh. 
more damage, but yes, I do have medicinal herbs. Those barrels are amazing on long runs here in the Warrens. I recall an offline long run I did in the Warrens. Where like the first two carriers I hit were both those barrels that I, so I just threw away both of my firewoods. Because you use the barrels and it's plus damage until camp. But if you don't camp, it's, you know, until, it's for the whole dungeon. Speak of the buff devil. Can I crush any of these things? I can in a single go. Executed with impunity. This thing has big protection. Okay, so... Uh, does it bleed? It does bleed. I think so, Fulgrim. Uh, yeah, I mean, the repost is a super important skill for him. He's he's like an off-damage dealer. In that his main usefulness is buffing allies. But the nice thing about him is Crush can hit position 3, which I really like. Dodge! I'm telling you, since I got these two items on my Arbalester, since I got Bullseye Bandana and Sniper's Ring, I mean, look at this. That's 15 accuracy plus 8 accuracy, so plus 23 accuracy, and plus 9 crit. Be gone, fiend. So good. But for me, the big thing about this playthrough has been learning what a revelation it is that the Flagellant can be a pretty impressive healer. We've got plus damage. Let's give plus damage here as well. Ignore that shit. Yeah, this will work out nicely. We head west. Secret door up here. Battle. Aereo. Aereo. This is uh, mm, holy water, which I don't have. Who's got the highest disease resist? 55 on the flagellant. If memory serves, these things cause a disease if you get the negative. Negative event. This, these occult scrawlings, I, I tend to just leave alone. Torch does nothing. Holy water gives you a gigantic debuff and stress. Uh, should I snuff my torches out? No. Now I gotta make some hard choices. I think we drop, what do we drop? We drop. The antivenom and the last skeleton key. Onyx, maybe. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. laden with loot are often low on supplies I'm sitting on a fair amount of food but we are due for a hunger event hit Another one. Oh yes modern Sixty percent bleed, resisted. Ah, uh, I should have used target whistle to lower protection. In any case, let's take his dodge away. The abyss returns. The horror. Yeah! 11% base. Plus. 
Plus seven, so 18% crit is pretty damn good. Okay. And stack horror. Ugh. Gnawing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. It should be a big one. Oh! Size has no intrinsic merit unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I can't drop anything else here. Yeah, I suppose so, but like in, in that little setup of those enemies, I thought, I mean, it, it'll take two, three turns to kill the ghoul. So just kill the maggots immediately. If they start stunning your lads, you have less damage output for the ghoul. Just hope we're going to have above 75 torch for this final battle. Damn, just dropped below. No torches remaining. These large corpse eaters can be nasty. But not that much protection and dodge, so that's okay. Diminished. Retribution. The marked does mean he'll take a lot more damage though. Bleed, 80% bleed. Raving. Don't worry, Sinshub, but we have blood. Ish. I think I finished off the corpse eater. Decimated. Oh, nice. It's another nice thing about all these combat buff stacking. It's actually helping quite a lot with um, stress. Ah. Excellent resist. Amazing. Do I target whistle? I don't because I can just crush him. Now I do target whistle. Takes protection away. The Arbalester do huge damage. Are you kidding me? Two hit points. I don't mind the weakened prey so much. It's the other big burst of damage that is more scary. Their cursed yeah. balls. This has to be a record for amount of crits in a single run. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yo! I don't know if you guys are hearing that thunder and lightning. That is pretty intense. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I think we're full up. Hell of a good run, people. Excellent. Technically, I could have left the blood behind. We're full. To hope that the house doesn't get hit by lightning if the stream suddenly goes down. <laughs> Rip me. Okay, so Shabba level 4, Chandos 4, Modern 4, excellent. I think we might have level 4s we need to we take on the Baron. Wasting sickness, that's no good. Uh, it's gonna start raining in a sec. Just dry, dry lightning for now.
I really want to kill this Baron. So level four, so if we go take on the Baron, I think it needs to be Dolmar for the repost. Marden for the repost. And then either Chandos or Sinshoba, but I think Sinshoba has better damage output, and then Mizuma for healing. Problem is I don't have pl any really any any plus healing items. It's intense, dude. The, the the lightning and thunder we get here up here in the high felt. It's pretty intense. Stress-wise, JDC Rawford, but that's fine. He's getting treated. I would definitely want to take out Marsh Main on the next one, so let's de-stress Marsh Main. Sell. To remind me, we just need level 5 Instructor Mastery. And the Blacksmith, we just need a few more crests and we have level 5 armor smithing. Are these level 4 nerds, can they go up to 5 yet? No, they need to be level 5 first. Let's go kill this fucking Baron. This is it, lads. Revenge. So, Virtue Chance, Protection and Stress. Does he count as Eldritch? No, he counts as a Bloodsucker. Speed, damage, stress, accuracy, virtue, chance. Thing is, the brawler's grieves. Uh, I think we leave on modern. As long as modern can use crush and retribution from that position, he's good. Move resist. 75 bleed, 17, 60% bleed is quite low, but that's the only combo we're ever going to use for the Arbalest. Damage. So, plus 45 damage in total there. Dodgy she, thank you. One other damage item. I have one, looks like. Book of Rage could be good. Mm, protection and stress. I suppose his hit points are touch low. I don't have any fanatic items. Mm. These if torch below items won't do anything for us on this run against the Baron. Fine, just bleed resist then. There really isn't much though that I can give to Mizuma that's terribly useful. You know what? Give the fucking berserk charm. <coughs> uh, last time we tried to focus him hard, and last time we made the mistake of thinking that AoE damage was the way to go to break the egg so that we could heal. But what I want to do this time, rather, is wait till he goes into all the eggs. We pop one, and then kill that enemy, then pop the next one, then kill that enemy, then pop the next one, and so on and so forth. So generally, uh, instead of going for the AoE, activate everything approach, we're going to go for the slower, more meticulous sort of approach. These if torch below things don't make much of a difference. The stress I'm not too worried about. Virtue Chance, Death Blow Resist. Quick Draw Charm isn't going to be great for us. Scouting Chance, Virtue Chance. I'm seriously tempted to take the Antiquarian with. Just for the dodge stacking. What I really wanted was a Plague Doctor, but I've only got a level 1 Plague Doctor, and I want a level 4. Right. Morbid entertainment. This Baron dies this day. 
Are we sending? We're sending. Sinshobo, Mizuma, Dolmor, Marden. You need to get revenge. Revenge for. All died. Gradelian. There we go. Esquire bled out. So we need vengeance for Jodvanus, Valstat, Shrub, Rattlesnake, Hefas, Vesper, Milky, and Quickfeed, who all died to the Baron. Two full squads wiped. Okay, those of you watching on, on YouTube, when we come back, the boss dies.